Three flowers trapped in a 5x5 grid, watered every day by five people to maximize breeding. For each of the flowers in Animal Crossing New Horizons, will we get any of the rare flowers? I'll be paying each of my waterers a 99k bag of bells each for each day they've watered. Plus, if we get a rare hybrid, they all earn 2.5 million bells each. For this challenge to work, I'm opening up my gates every day for at least five unique characters to visit my island. To do this, you need Nintendo Online and I'm coordinating this through Discord. I escort each of my waterers to my garden and watch to make sure they're watering each and every flower. If you don't already know, watering just by yourself only gives you 5% of the watered flowers to breed. Going to 1 bumps it to 25%, 2 to 35 3 waterers takes it to 50%, 4 to 65 and 5 is 80%. This is what your flowers look like as a result of five people watering. Big golden sparkle, so I'm keen to see what we get on day two. The next day, the yellow and red made this orange, which left the white, no one to mate with, which resulted in a cloned or copied flower. Similar with this trio, the yellow and red tulip bred this orange, which left again the white solomio, making a copy of itself. This is precisely why I don't usually breed flowers like this due to the unpredictability. Beyond this first day, we'll get some more interesting results. With this new day, brings us some new faces. Here we've got Silver Channel member Jan visiting from two of her switches. Even though it's the same Nintendo account, since the character is from two different islands, then the flower bonus still counts. Sometimes you've got to make do with what you've got. You can do the same thing using local play if you've got more than one switch and more than one copy of the game. Let's do a walk through the flowers for day three. The cosmos gave us pink as did the tulips. Hyacinth, nothing out of the ordinary. The wind flowers resulted in another pink, which if you haven't already, check out my video on how to make pink flowers. Roses, nothing special. And mums, kind of the same. Pansies gave us an orange and an orange clone, which is one of my favorite flowers. To get us to the fifth water up, we've got Pennant channel member Damo on his new switch, giving us the golden sparkle. Day four roundup, we've got more pink cosmos in Cosmos Land, another pink from the Windflower, and look, another pink, this time in the Rose Grid. Mrs. G, my wife, is the last person for this day, collecting her 99k bells coming through for this day to give us the golden sparkle. Gotta love the ACDC look. Day 5 walkthrough, let's check it out. Nothing new except we got our first black rose and our first pink mum, plus a blue pansy. So let's get these flowers watered again for this day, which has Mrs. G OG character visiting along with the Jan duo. Let's pay our service fee to our waterers for this day and see who our lucky last is. It's my son, aka cameraman's character from our OG COVID switch, check out this awkward watering technique as he does it without looking. Gets it from his dad. So proud. Walk with me if you will to see what we get today. Unfortunately, no fancy rare flowers yet. Today we managed to wake up platinum member Chuck Tro sporting a beard due to neglect from his other island doing heart mode. Check his channel in the description as well. Whilst you do that, I'll pay these peeps for another hard earned day watering. Day 7 leaves very few spots to grow into, which makes me feel like tomorrow will be the last day for a chance of any rare coloured flower. Mrs. G is back again as lucky last waterer, taking us to 80% reproduction rate. And here's my celebratory dance. Let us look over all the results from the 8 garden beds as a result of this challenge. Day 8 is our final day where we can collate our results. Whilst we didn't end up with any of the super rare hybrids we're using this method, it did help us get a variety of hybrids, including pinks, oranges, blues and blacks. This little challenge inspired a new video which is in the making of lazy gardening in the hope to breed some of the unseen rare hybrids in this challenge. In the meantime, check this next video out and thanks to my loyal channel members.